every Wednesday around 1.30 or 2 p.m. Eastern Time here in Montreal. Uh, today I have a fun project. I ordered this really cool craft kit from my friend Jackie, the nerdy crafter. And uh, it's a really fun kit to make a creature out of clay and other things. The kit actually has a bunch of really cool things in it. It has uh, like a little airbrush thing, it's got wire, it's got the molds, it's got the plaster, so many things. I did a bit opening video, I'll post it at some point, maybe on my art channel. Hi Amber, uh, hi Clarice. So yeah, so I made the creature, I'm just gonna grab it here. Here's the little creature. So I made the creature and I wanna make some wings out of wire. You actually, the kit comes with some uh, molds that you can make wings with the molds so here's the ones that i made with the kit but i want to try to make my own out of wire so i'm going to flip the screen and we're going to get going making the wings for the creatures and you could make the you could use these wings uh, to make uh, butterflies angels all kinds of things so it could give you guys some interesting ideas on how to make wire wings so let's flip the screen and get started there we go so I am going to pull up the video on my computer. Hopefully you guys can see uh, my table. Let me just open up my computer, pull it up on YouTube. It always takes a minute to get started here. Put the, the uh, cover up on my screen, videos, live streams, and pull up the video, turn off the sound, sound is off and I will have to watch my own ad. So there we go, let me skip the ad and then I'm gonna open up the curtain so it's a little brighter in here and we can see what we can see on the table. In the meantime, I could say hi to everybody. Clarice, hi Clarice, hi Amber. Amber is a tree sap girl, if you guys don't know. She's a moderator on my channel and Clarice is I Clara, um, and she is another moderator on my channel. I really appreciate you guys being here. We have Rita. Hi, Rita. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Glary. And hi, Kat. So awesome. Let me just open the curtain. For some reason, the video is buffering. So we're going to see how well we do with that. Let me know how it is on your end, if things are buffering or if it's just me. And we're going to play it. There we go. Okay, so I can see my table now. Nice. And let me refresh the page to make sure that we're all in the same spot. I think we are perfect. So let me move some of my, I have some uh, beads. I have some sketches and let's see where we're doing. And let me open up my beads here. Good here, awesome. Okay, so it's just me getting started. So I just wanna make sure you guys can see my stuff should be centered. I think I have to move it back over a little bit. Let's move everything over. There's a delay on the video, so it's gonna take me a while just to figure out how to get my hands centered on the screen. Hi, Amanda, nice to see you. It's been a while. And Karen, hi, Karen. Um, yeah, so there we go. So this should be good. We're just gonna move that up a little bit. So if I move work around here, you guys should be able to see what I'm doing. So these are the sketches and I will show you, this is the, the instructions for the kit. So uh, the kit is available on uh, Jackie's uh, channel and, one of, and I'll link up the link below. These are like all the instructions. And then this is my little uh, creature here. So I just wanna make some wings that are gonna go on the creature. Uh, so like little unicorn wings type of thing. Uh, I'm gonna figure it out. You can also make it into a, um, a dragon type creature. It's really open-ended. So these are the molds for the wings. I thought it would be cool to do those with resin as well. I won't get into that today because um, it's gonna be messy, but I might try some with wire and resin. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna get some wire and we're gonna play around to make some wings. I really wanted to try some uh, this type of butterfly wing too. I've never made some quite like that before. I've made a lot of butterflies before, but not quite like that. So let's go ahead and make some wings and centered. Good, awesome. So I will get started. Last week, of course, we wrapped up live wires for the win and that was super fun. But now that 
It is over, sadly it's over. Um, we had some amazing submissions this year. I was super impressed with everything. And uh, Bernice uh, is the top live wire for 2022. And um, be sure next year, if you guys want to apply and participate, you'll definitely have to uh, uh, apply for that. I'll put a link in the description of the video in case anybody is interested in applying. So I have a few wires. This is gold, a gold aluminum wire. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna DM you a cat for sure. And uh, there we go. So we're gonna open up this one here, and this one is copper. So that's another alternative. The aluminum is quite soft, but the copper is a little bit a little bit firmer. And then this is another aluminum that I have, which is quite soft too. So I might wanna go for something a little bit stronger, but I think what I'll do is I'll just start with the gold just to play around with it. And if you guys were on the live stream last year, or last week, I made all these tiaras. So I don't know if you noticed, I posted pictures. Tim made a bunch of really nice ones. So we made these tiaras last week. I'm gonna link up the, the replay to that. So we might use some of these techniques in uh, today's video with the spirals and stuff. So that's was last week. Every week I do new designs for different uh, things, often special requests. So if you guys ever have a request, just let me know. Uh, this actually is a little soft. I might even go for 18 gauge for the outside because it might be a little more firm. Oh, and I forgot I have this brass one too. Brass might be good too, because it's quite thick. So bear with me while I troubleshoot uh, where, to, where to start with this. I might start with the with the 18 gauge. It might be easier. So, yeah, and weaving for butterfly wings. That's a great idea. Yeah, I like that idea for sure. So let's go ahead and take this wire. And we can do, if you want, you could even do the two sides together. Uh, sometimes it's easier. So if I get a, just a nice long piece of the 18 gauge. Whoops, that's not the cutters. We're going to do that. And... We can, I often, if I want to do two at once, I just have a little hack. So we're going to fold it in half. We'll just fold that one in half here. And we are going to bring this one up here. So we've got the two sides. And if you need more of a distance between them, like if I'm going to put these on my creature, I need them a little bit wider. So let me just figure that one out. I'm going to actually straighten that out a little bit. I decided I want them a little bit more wide apart. So then get a round form. And then that way they could be more spaced apart on the, on the creature. So we're going to go like that. Open this up. And to get them the same size, we're basically just going to mold them around. Now, if you want to get a round shape, that's going to make them a little more perfect. I have my pill bottles that I like to use. These I call my little babushka dolls. Oh, I'm going to not, hopefully not knocking my camera out of the way. So I keep all my little pill bottles in here, different sizes. So I'm going to get one of those and I've got my sleeves falling down. There we go. So we're going to bring this one around here, there, and let me go know in the comments what you guys are working on. I'm always curious to see what people are working on. So say we want to do this type of wing, we can just do them both at once. And then I'm going to get the round pliers. Hopefully I'm staying on screen. There goes my charger. I hopefully it is still charging. I'm having trouble. Oops, I'm having trouble with my iPad conking out. So hopefully it's still charging. We're gonna bring this one around here, curve it around. Now, if you wanna trace that shape, if it's easier to have a template, I usually post templates from the live streams uh, in the description as well. So if these turn out, I'll make some uh, templates and post them in the description. That's the disclaimer if they turn out. So we'll see, they should turn out all right. So then we're just gonna bring this one around. I hope my wires are long enough for my wire. So we're gonna bring that one around and then slightly measure it. And then this one, 
I'm going to bring this one out here and down. See how it's fun doing them two at once? It's really a nice solution. So we're going to bring this one over here and here. So we're going to bring this one here around here. There. And keep twisting this around as we go. Hi, Mirta. How are you? There we go. Then we're going to bring this one here and out that way and around this way. And I'm starting to work on the upcoming challenge. We're doing a 10 day charm bracelet making challenge. So look out for that uh, early December. So I'm going to figure out what day I want to start that, but uh, I will let you guys know. So this would be the beginning point of our wings. So we've got our wings. We've got the two like that. And actually, say you're going to do this for the, for the Nerdy Crafter kit, you're going to have to leave some little ends because there's little holes here that these wings would actually stick in. So that's funky. I'm going to leave those little ends actually, and then we could stick them in the, um, I'm not going to necessarily use these ones, but you could, they're maybe not big enough, but you could stick them in there as uh, wings. I mean, you'd have to cut this, obviously. You'd cut it, and then you'd stick that in there with a little bit of glue, or included in the kit is the um, modeling clay that you could stick in there too. So wouldn't that be cute? Just little wire wings, but we're going to fancy them up a little bit. So let's do that. And uh, Clarice shared the Wire Makers Club. So thank you so much for that, Clarice. So if you guys want to share pictures of your wire art and jewelry, uh, be sure to do so. I'm going to have to figure out what I want to do with these ends of these wings in case I don't put them in the kit, but I probably will. So I'm going to just bend these at a right angle and bend these at a right angle. Okay. And then what I would have to do is just, let me just see how, it's probably not that long, the little, the little length. I'm just going to clip a little bit to be sure. I want to measure how much depth goes in. Oh, there's quite a bit. So it looks like there's a, ha a good half inch that goes into the creature. So what you would want to do is to make it extra easy to plant them in to get them to stay, you would bend this at say half an inch. Okay, just about a half an inch up. And this is just gonna give it a little bit of extra stability. So I, let me check it. Let me just check it and see. So if that one, We'll go in there. Yeah, so that works well. So that one's gonna go plant right in there, but then we're gonna clip the extra edge. So we will just clip that little extra edge a little below there. So then when you do attach it to your creature, it's gonna be very stable. So that's cool. I'll have to send a picture of that to Jackie and um, maybe I'll mail her some too. I'll mail her some wire, wire wings if she wants them. So I don't know if Jackie does a lot of wire work. She definitely does a lot of uh, modeling clay, like Fimo and stuff on her channel. If you don't know her channel, The Nerdy Crafter, definitely check it out because her stuff is so fun. She's hilarious. She's very funny and uh, fun and very supportive of other crafters. So uh, definitely check out her channel if you don't know her already. So now, so those are ready to go into the creature. Uh, you can do any kind of finishing with these ends if you want to add it to another wire sculpture. If you want to just make a butterfly, there's a lot you can do with these. So we're just going to bring this one back here. And now we want to somewhat fill in those wings. So for that, I want to somewhat follow these. Hi, Jean. Are you selling the creature kit? I'm not selling the creature kit, but I will link up in the description where you can buy it. Uh, it's the Nerdy Crafter. She's got a huge YouTube channel and she might have a few kits left. They're a limited edition and um, and she uh, she sells them. If you search her channel, you'll find it. And if not, I will put the link uh, in the description of this video where you can buy it. So here's our cute little butterfly wings. I might or might not use them with the creature. I probably will. So if not, I'll make some other pairs too. So there's some wings. And now I like that idea of filling it in like the an actual butterfly. So let's try that. 
and we would need finer wire for that. So I am going to get the 24 gauge wire. So we have the 24 gauge wire here. Uh, this one's just from Michael's, but I do also have some from uh, the um, artistic wire because they send me a lot of wire as well. So let's just cut some. You're welcome, Jean, no problem. So yeah, I just kind of was troubleshooting with the kit and I thought it'd be fun to do my own uh, wings with it because um, uh, you can, you know, get really creative with the kit. She, she, it comes with sort of a basic mold to make the creature. And then after that, you just kind of embellish it how you want. So now let's go ahead and take this wire and we want to try to make little definitions, little separations and things uh, with this wire. I'm going to just check something because I do also have the artistic wire, which might be easier to work with. Sometimes that wire is a little bit um, stiff, but let me just see. I don't even know if I have 24 gauge artistic wire. I'm going to check. I don't think I do. I have so many different wires. Oh yeah, I have the 24 gauge brass, but I don't, I think it's even stiffer. So I'm gonna just go for this one from Michaels and we're gonna fill it in. So uh, yeah, so it's, uh, hi Karen, so it's butterfly wings to go with this creature that I'm making that was part of a kit. So we're just gonna see what we can do with these wings. And then you guys, of course, can do anything that you want with these. So I think what we're going to have to do, I'm gonna have to secure it somehow. Um, just gonna start here for now. Yeah, this is when I'm not exactly sure because I do wanna leave a little space across here to add it to the creature. So, oh, what I should have done is, yeah, that might've been better if we put it in the middle and then we can have it to each side. So if we go like this, around here. Okay, and then we go around here. Maybe one more time. We're gonna definitely have to add wires. So the idea would be you, you want to just start filling this in a little bit. Now, butterflies are pretty symmetrical, so it'd be nice if you could get it somewhat like the same for each one. So if we do that, but we don't want to keep cutting our wire either. I'm just going to see what I want to do here. Mm -hmm. I'm just playing around with it for now. So if we, we can go here and then, uh, where's my pliers? Here we go. So we're going to bring that one up here. And then we want to do similar types of shapes that they have on like an actual butterfly. So if we bring that one around here, we can bring that one here and wind it around. It's nice that this is open so it's easier to wind the wire around. And then we can bring this one up here. And yeah, I'm just really playing with it for now to see what works best because you can hook it into here. I mean, we can separate the pieces too, but maybe we want to, I'm thinking, what if we did something like that where we just kept these pieces separate? Might be easier. I probably should have bent it to the other side. So I'm going to bring that one around here. I'm trying to, what I try to do in these live streams is figure out ways to make things that's the easiest for you guys to replicate or to follow. So this is, often I'll make like little errors, I play around with it, as Bob Ross used to say, like happy accidents. So we'll see what we end up coming up with, but I, I like the idea of having these wires somewhat separate. So we're gonna bring that one around here and around here. And then of course the second half would be faster, but I might not even do the second half and I would do it after the live stream just to save time. So we could bring this one around here. So if we make kind of three little loops like that, you can make as many as you want, do it as detailed as you want. So that's not too bad. And then we're gonna bring it around here. Okay, and so that might be enough like that. 
it's not super detailed, but it's not too bad. You could even go up, if we have enough wire, we can go up, oh, maybe we'll go up another time and then just bring it to the end. We can do that. We can go up here and then just attach it to the end here. Bring that one in. And uh, as always, you guys can use these ideas in any way you want. I don't know if we want to bring it back again maybe bring it back again or attach it to the side. We can do that. We can maybe attach it to the intersection here. We're gonna try that. So I'm gonna to try to also stay on screen, bring this one around. And if you make any comments while I'm working and I miss them, be sure to comment again in case. So, um, so there we go. So now I'm gonna get another wire to add a little bit more. So let's cut some more wire. Like I said, this wire is from Michaels. It used to, they used to sell little sets of three wires. I think they still do. When I first bought the sets of three, they were about $9, $9.99. And now I think they're about $12.99 or more. The price of everything has gone up. Uh, everything from food to, you know, basic materials and stuff. A head of lettuce in Montreal is $5, which is unheard of. But, you know, that's just how things are right now. So here's that. Let me move some stuff out of the way. And then what we want to do is add some more pieces to here. So if we take this and bring this one here, I'm going to take this, wind it around. This is the sort of second one in there that I have. We're going to bring this one here. The creative process. I'm so happy you're here to watch it. And, and if you ever, you guys get a little bored or you have to do other things, you can always hop back, you can watch the replay, you can um, put it in fast forward or zip, zip through it. And Amber always makes me my timestamps, which is amazing. So uh, on the replay after a, about a week or something, or if usually she's faster than that, a few days, um, we have the timestamps where you can go directly to the part of the video that you wanna learn about. So. We'll start with this and then I'm gonna do another style after. So we're just, I'm just adding the wire as I go. Um, don't wanna get it too complicated. So I'm just gonna go up to this one here. Yeah, you could get very detailed with this, but you can also try to keep it simple. And you could add beads if you wanted to add beads to it as well. And we can even go back sort of into this if you want, I just did a sketch, but I wasn't actually looking at an accurate butterfly. So you could get a picture of a butterfly and look at a more actual, accurate picture. So we could just bring that in here. And even if you don't want to twist it, you can just bend it down. So you don't want to twist it because it's a lot of twisting. Just give it a little like pinch, flick of the wrist, and that'll catch that little end in there. So that's another option. So we're going to stick this one in here, put that one in there, and we could do the same thing. Like say you don't want to twist it, because sometimes it looks better with not too many twists. So we're going to take this one, bring it up through here, and see how it just kind of catches that in there? I like the look at that better than the twist, so that's okay. Maybe we can conceal the twist if we kind of put it on top of the, yeah, if we kind of slide one wire on top of the other, it slightly conceals that twist. And then we're going to take this, give it a good little tug, and then hold this one and bend it back. Sometimes it's easier with your fingernails. So we're going to just bend that one back. And then we can also starting to look a little bit like a kind of the weaving in a dream catcher type of thing but it's the same idea where you're hooking into the other the previous uh, wires so we're going to do that we're going to hook into this one and better if you use a soft wire for this part because it's very easy to get the wire uh, kinked so we're going to do that and bring that one here and i'm just going to improvise here and go by as quickly as I can. So we're going to bring that one in here and here. I'm going to clip this wire because it's gotten a little, it's a little long and we don't need it. So 
Uh, sexy femme, hello. And very pretty, but for me, it would be hard to make a wing. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely a process. And like I said, I try to work out these designs and so you guys have an idea of how things are made, but I do have other more simplified butterflies on my channel. If you want to do a simple butterfly, that's for sure. I do have some other more simple videos and some smaller ones too. So we've got that one and we can just, yeah, see that looks really cool. I like, I like the way they're hooked in to there to make the, the shape. And we're going to bring this one here. You might want to twist it around once to hold it in place a little bit better because sometimes if you don't twist it it doesn't hold in place too well and then we can do go into that last one up here and then we're gonna have to go to the lower the lower wing so i definitely am not going to do both sides of the butterfly wing because it's going to take a long time but you get an idea of how it's done so we've just bring that one in here so each of these have a wire stuck into them. I may, maybe didn't need to do so many of them. Maybe I could have done less, but that's hindsight. We can't do much about that now. So this one, we could clip it over here. And then we would just have the bottom wing. So you see, that's interesting. These are maybe a little curved because it, the other ones are a little more straight. So if you want to straighten these out, just go in with your flat pliers and try to make them a little bit more pointed. Just because I think the butterfly things are a little bit more pointed and not so straight or not so curved. So I'm just trying to make them a little bit more angular so let's see how that goes and also not break the wire which looks like it's about to break so we want to be careful with that so that's one wing and then we'll want to get another wire down here like veins Ooh, cool yes that's very cool you're right that is i didn't even know that's what they called they're called but i guess it's like the veins of a leaf right so same idea you learn something new every day. I did not know those were called veins. So then we have the bottom wing that you would want to do uh, somewhat in the same way. So if we have this here, we could even say attach. I'm just looking at my creature to see how far apart the holes are. Yeah, so let's, let's actually attach that one here together. And I think that's going to work well. So we're going to go ahead and here, open this guy up. And we're not going to bring the same wire across, but we are going to attach this here. I'm not sure how much wire I need, but what if we just attach the two? I'm just going to check that to see. Might work well. And then we bring these the same way we did the other one. This way, this time I'm going to make them a little more angular, I think. So I'm going to just bring that one here and here. I don't know if we really want to attach those, but we're going to try it. So we're going to bring that one up here. Oh, wait, I'm going to bend that and bend that up. And then I'm going to try to do them a little more angular because I think that's how the butterfly ones are. So I'm going to take this and go angle, angle, and bend. Bring that down. So instead of being curved, it's a little more angular, which might be a little too much now. And then this is an extra wire that I think I'm going to cut that off because it's going to get in my way. And I can always do templates for these if uh, you guys would find it easier to follow. So now we're going to take this one in here, bend that one around up here, push it up. If you don't have nails, just use uh, pliers. So we're going to bring this one here and then again, do a kind of an angular bend thing. 
or curved, whatever you feel like. There we go. Okay, there, and curve it around. And back here. These are slipping a bit, so I'm not quite sure. Maybe I should have twisted them somewhere else, but that's okay. We're just gonna bring that one around and that one up here. Push that one up there. And we're gonna bring this one around. Uh, maybe I'll just do, I might do three or four. I'm gonna see, so we're gonna do this one here. And this one here, maybe make it a little more narrow, wind it around, and we go there, okay, and then this one up here. So we've got those few here, and what I'm going to do is for this one, I'll just attach it to the side. So we're going to bring that one around here and wind it around the side. Here. And I'm going to actually bring it up here. I'm just improvising now. I'm not even looking at my sketch. So we're going to bring this one down, wind it down. And then this actually, I'm going to go into this spot here. So we're going to just bring it into there, bring it into this spot, and then fold it up, but not twist it. So we're going to give it that little pinch that we did before. Bring it in here, do the twist on this side, here, and yeah, usually when I do my sketches, I don't always think in terms of what way the wire is going to go because I improvise that on the live streams. But see, that's the idea. It's kind of interesting. Maybe would have wanted a little bit more like to go into itself a little more, but this is something you can experiment with. And this is also something that depends on the size of your butterfly wings. So I'm just playing now, I'm just sticking it like before the end, I'm just sticking it in here to try something different and around here. So that's just like, oh, you can see it kinks. Sometimes the wire kinks, can't do much about that sometimes. So. There, so there's one piece and then we can just, it just gives it a little bit more variety and we can pinch it, bring it up and then around here. So we're gonna bring this one around here and journey forever, hello. So now we're gonna bring this one here and into this one. So we're gonna bring that one into here. And so, yeah, it's a bit of a hot mess, but that's okay. So we're just going to bring that one in here and then to the side. So this gives you an idea of how you could fill in the butterfly wing. I'm gonna just finish that one there. I don't, don't think I need to do much with that. So I'm gonna clip that. I'm not gonna force you guys to watch me do the other side, but this will give you the idea so we've got a couple of wings going there. I like the detail. There's, you could do a more sort of strategic um, detail based on a, like if you have a drawing of the, of the creature. So here's the creature, here's the Jackie's creature from the kit and you would wanna stick it in there, but now I'm realizing you're, you're gonna have to put these a bit on an angle. So maybe I should have made these things a little bit longer. I'm gonna put them on an angle but we're gonna see, so if I bend these and then we can curve this up, okay, we can curve this up a little bit. And I'm not necessarily gonna use these in the kit, but I might make a couple of them and have alternative wings. So here's the wings so far. And then if we take the creature, we'll just put it, yeah, these have to be longer. So uh, no problem, I'll just open them up. So we're gonna open these up because I cut them too short. I've folded them. So we're going to actually open these up again. So then we can get an idea of how long these ends should be to go in the creature. So we've got those ends and we'll take the creature back and we're going to stick these in here. Okay. So that kind of works. How much do I have to put them in there? 
Uh, not too bad. So I'm just, this is where you have to like play around with it to make sure. Oh my God, this is adorable. I really like it, but it looks like they're a little off a bit. So we can always bend the end a little bit. So at that point, we can take the end and just bend it a little bit. So it will be more or less the right size. So I would say these ends should be about three quarters of an inch, but it's a good idea to have a bit of a extra fold at the bottom. So when you put the glue in, it's going to catch into the glue. So there's that. And now we are going to wings look good so far. Thank you. Yeah, I'll finish them later, but just to have an idea. So here's our creature again. We're going to stick those in here. And yeah, I probably should have not just trying to think of what we should have done. That's okay. We can, what I might do is continue a, a thin wire over here. So it has a little bit of fill it, fill it in a little bit in there. See what I mean? but they look pretty darn cute. They could even be a little bigger. So good first attempt at the wings. I will finish those ones later, uh, but I'm happy with that. So that's good. Yes, I'll definitely post pictures when I'm finished in the, um, in the community section. And I'll probably put together a whole video uh, making Jackie's kit, including the wire. Uh, wings uh, at some point so it's a bit of a process so now here's some other types of wings these are like angel wings there's this type of wings there's also a um, dragon wing because in the kit she has uh, also this is the kit the ones you can make out of plaster in the kit so you could make a butterfly wing the angel wing which is this one and then also the dragon wing. So the kit comes with all kinds of cool stuff. I just have to take a sip of water. I will be right back. And now I want to try to make some other wings. So maybe we'll make some angel wings. Or this type of wing is cute too. I like the idea of like putting, these are more fairy wings. Maybe some, maybe some fairy wings. Why don't we do some fairy wings? And I will get some other wire. So I did 18 gauge for that. I'm gonna try, which one do I wanna try? I could try the brass wire. This is really thick though. I don't think I wanna use that. I'm gonna stick with the 18 gauge, I think. I also have the copper. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm just gonna stick with the thinner wire this time. So let's go ahead with the 18 gauge and make some fairy wings. Okay, the tail. Yeah, um, I haven't read all the instructions for the kit yet, so I'm not quite sure what the tail is supposed to be, but I would probably just make the tail with a bunch of like really thin wires, like a, like a horsey tail or something. That would be cute. But I haven't really, there's a whole bunch of YouTubers that have done her kit. So I what I'll do is I'll link up a playlist of tutorials not tutorials, they're like, she's, what she did is she made the kit and she sent it to a whole bunch of different YouTubers and they did their own their own spin on the project. So I'll link up a whole bunch of uh, places where um, a whole bunch of uh, YouTube channels where you can see people making this the same kit. So now we're gonna do, I wanted to do some with some little spirals. So I'm just thinking in terms of what to do next for a shape because I want it to be a little bit different, but I also like the shape of the angel wings. That's the trouble when I get on these live streams. There's too many possibilities. So why don't we just go ahead and make more of a angel wing type thing. So I'm going to take this. This won't be for the creature. This will just be for um, angel wings. So I, I think this is way too long too. So let's go ahead and bend this maybe over here because that's going to be too long. So we're going to bring this one up. And again, we can do the wings together. So we're just going to bring this one up here and then get a, that's a little big. So maybe this one, a round form. And then we're going to bring this one around. Okay, we're going to bring this one around here. And 
do this type of wing. So maybe this one here, just to get the shape. So if we're gonna bring that one around, and then this one, this one, and around here, and then one down here. Yeah, so this is a good hack to make them the same, the wings the same size. So we could bring that one up and around. So this wire is definitely too long. I'm gonna clip that. And, okay, turns out beautifully, thank you. So now we're gonna take this one, open this up. So this, you'll see it's like magic, it makes the wings the same size. So what you can do is, say you wanna do use these for some project, depending on what you wanna, like if you wanna add it to something, you can leave a wire. If you want to make a pendant, you can do a loop. Uh, there's really a lot of different things that you can do with this. So let's say you want to do, just finish this in the middle. You could bring this one up. And then I usually would help it with the round pliers to bring that one around in here. I also make like a little dog sculpture in my um, Etsy shop and I put like little wings like this on the dog and people buy them as sort of a memorial for their for their doggies or their kitties, which is very sad, but it's nice to have a little memorial. Um, so there we go. So we're gonna do that one like that. And we can have this so we can stick it onto something else. That would be That would be a good idea. And then this one, we just want to get it more or less about the same size-ish. And then this one we can bend up and just finish it around here. So that way we only have one wire to attach it. Or if you need two wires, keep the other wire. But I'm just going to clip it off here. And I am going to... oh. I purposely went on this side of the table to avoid shadows and I see my work surface has shadows on it now. So that didn't work too well. Sometimes when there's direct sunlight, that can be an issue. So here's wings that could be put, they look like faces, don't they? Hmm, didn't mean to do that. So this is a way that you can do wings, do any shape you want. I just kind of traced this shape, but now they don't really look as wing-like as I had hoped, but you can do a lot to play around with the shape. It should be bigger maybe at the top, so we can round it out a little bit more at the top. This one too, round it out a little more at the top. So that can be uh, some wings, just like that. And then you can fill them in the same way we did before, or if you wanna do another way, or you could even do resin. Like if, wouldn't that be cool if you put some resin in there? I know Mustafa has been wanting me to try the resin, so I might, actually try that this the trouble is this has to be perfectly level if you're going to do resin like we could give that a bend and that a bend so we would you know what I would almost want to do is flatten the wire if I'm going to do the resin I like that idea though so because if I was going to do resin we want to take it take the the shape and flatten it so why don't I while we're on that topic try something. So I'm going to get this and then all of these things I'll finish after. So you guys, um, you know, th there's no way I'm going to have time to do all this on the live stream, but I could definitely try to do something and the, like say flatten this after. So let's go ahead and cut a piece of this wire. This is the 16 gauge brass wire. This is much harder to work with, but I think think it would be really cool to do something where we flatten the wires. So I can't make it very big though. I just realized that my rolling mill is not very big unless I did it with a, I could flatten it with the pizza maker, but the, or the pasta maker, but the trouble is the pasta maker. I don't know if I could do hard wire like this in the pasta maker. I can try it. I've flattened aluminum wire in the past pasta maker 
but I've never really used this kind of wire. So we're gonna take this and again, make some kind of shape. Why don't we try this shape maybe to try it a little bit different. We're gonna bring this one up here, okay, to make the angel wings. Okay, just a bit like that. And then I wanna bend this at a bit of an angle. Yeah, this wire is much stiffer, so we're gonna take that one in, out, and we'll see if this is gonna work. And we could have molded after, so I'm just gonna do a bunch of these curves. Bring that one out around, and maybe one more. Here. And here, so now that we have enough done so that we know they're gonna symmet be symmetrical. So now I'm gonna open it up. So at least you have this little hack of how to make these a similar size. So there's that. And then we're gonna bring this one in here. I should have maybe cut the wire longer because I wanted to try a spiral. So we're gonna bring this one in here, okay, around there. So this would be our starting point. Oh, I could put it through the rolling mill that way. That would work. But the idea now is we want to make sure these ends are the same size. So we may have a similar size spiral. So we go there, we're gonna bring this one up here and clip that at around the same position. So that looks good. So we're gonna cut that. And usually I use a cone for my spiral, but I don't know if my cone is handy. I have a little plastic cone, which of course I can't find at the moment, but let me just look over here. No, can't find it. But I do have a, a plastic ring cone that I use a lot. I also have this wooden one, which isn't as cone-like as the other one, but I'm gonna use the end of my Sharpie. You could use a pen and hold it here and we're gonna bring this one around. So yeah, my wires really aren't long enough to make much of a spiral, but if they were longer, I could definitely make a better spiral. So we're gonna bring that one around and then I'll just take the end, probably move these out of the way. I can't believe my table is shadowy. Hmm, that was not very good. Um, here, let me move this over a bit. I'm gonna get out of the shadow if I can. There, how about there? Is that better? Then the sunlight is to the other side. So we're gonna move that and that there. And I'm gonna bring this over here. So now we wanna do the spiral. So we're gonna take this and just take it end with the round pliers and flick of the wrist. Now I'm off screen. We're gonna turn this one around here and just make a bit of a spiral. This wire is very stiff because it's 16 gauge brass. So that's our starting point. And then we can fill it in with other things. So let me just think in terms of this, this is gonna work with the resin because you can't have any areas that are going to leak. So let me just see if this is gonna work might not work. I'm gonna get this, so that's cool. These are really cool, I like them. And bring this one around a little bit more. Okay, and this one too, around here. So let's flatten that one out. And then what I'm gonna do is I will finish these things off camera I'm gonna to have to flatten it because if you're doing resin, you want it to be flat. Like this isn't super flat. So what I'm gonna to have to do is I think attach it together. Like I'll, I'll flatten it. I'll put it in a way on a flat surface that these touch. <laughs> this is gonna be down. And then I can put, pour resin on it. I'll try to film it when I do it and I can put like little bits and things in there 
and maybe even do some other spirals. So let me just get some other brass. This is maybe some fair brass. Uh, I have 20 gauge. This might not even be like a great color. They don't really match, but that's okay. Um, yes, I'm gonna definitely, hi Patricia. Yeah, I will post pictures of the finished products in the community section, absolutely. So now, say we wanted to do some other like little spirals in there. What you can do to make the spiral is often I'll just do it with my round pliers. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna get a pen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe this one. Here's a pen. So I will get this and to make this spirals, I like to take the a comb. I don't have my other cone nearby, but we're gonna go around here, around there, and around here. So I've got a bit of starting look like a cone here, just so you guys can see the cone. And then just clip it flush here and pinch that down. And then from here, either with your pliers or your hands, we just wanna move squeeze these down so see we're just going to squeeze them all down this to the uh, flat surface if you have to open them up a little bit you can you can work in stages you can start with this one here and then push it down and then you see it makes a pretty good spiral so that's cool so what i can do is make a bunch of these i wouldn't flatten them because they're they don't need to be flattened but what I can do is fill this in with resin, make a bunch of like little random doohickey spir spirals and stuff and place them around, uh, put the resin, place it around and hopefully it's gonna work. But this definitely has to be flattened because otherwise the resin is gonna come out from underneath it. So I'll show you guys what we did today. We did the starting of some angel wings and I think I'm gonna fill it in with B. Why don't I do that now so we have at least something that's a little bit finished to show you. So I will, if you guys have to cut out, no worries at all. I uh, can finish this on my own. And if you want to stick around, that would be awesome. So now I have some 22 gauge wire, which I like. And, and uh, yeah, let's get some 22 gauge wire. This is thanks to Beadalon. Thank you very much to Beadalon for sending me wire all the time. Uh, Beadalon was also the sponsor of wire, Live Wires for the Win and donated $200 worth of wire and tools, which I have shipped to Burmese and she should be getting it on Saturday. So that's cool. And uh, if you guys want to participate in Live Wires for the Win next year, I will post a link to leave your name and uh, email and as soon as the applications go out I will get in touch with you so I have some beads but I don't know which ones I want to do so I don't think red so let's get rid of red and I have blue but I don't know I think I'd rather look use kind of crystally beads there's not too much in there there's a few, I don't know, let's see, just little, no, that's not a crystal -y bead. No, no, I'm not sure about these blue ones. And then let me find some other ones. I also have these ones, okay, which I like. And I also have, if I can find my work beads. I have my work beads here as well. So I do have some crystally ones in there and we're gonna see what we have. So let's just see, these are the crystally ones. These are purple. Last week I used some more like actual crystals. I have these. 
Actually, the actual crystals are really pretty too. I like those ones. Oh, those are more like purpley crystal ones. They're quite pretty too. Maybe that type of thing would be nice. With the little purpley crystals. That one's more pink. It's purple. And over here I have these kind of purpley ones, which are pretty good. And let me move these out of the way. What else do I have? I have, I, I kind of like using metallic beads too, but I don't have a lot here. I mean, I have, no, that's not really much. I can just play around with these and see. So here's, so if you want to fill these in, I can move this one over here. Actually, maybe I'll move it out of the way so it's not in the way. And there, so let's get a bead. We can stick it on there. And I mean, this one you can make more like feathers if you prefer. You know, another kind of bead that might look cool on these are those bugle beads. They're kind of long beads that might be really interesting. You put a bunch of bugle beads on there to look like actual feathers. Now that would be cool. I don't know if I have any. Let me just see. If I had some, it'd be really cool. I'm just gonna look in here. I don't think I do, but I definitely would like to try some with the bugle beads. I think that would be cool. No, I don't think I do, but I did find some cool purple beads. Yeah, I'm gonna remind, Amber, if I forget, maybe remind me I'll try some bugle beads. That would be interesting. Look, I found all these fun stuff. So I think I like these better almost. These are neat. This is like an old necklace that we're taking apart. So let's get a bunch of those. I could do that. And yeah, I have my work cut out for me. I have to finish the plaster for the my creature and then paint it because there's actually spray paint. There's a there's a um what do you call it? Uh airbrush, like a little USB powered airbrush in the kit. So if you guys are interested in the kit, this is not sponsored at all, but uh, it's a really cool, cool kit that you get all kinds of interesting art supplies with it. So I if Jackie has any left, I would highly recommend it because it's, uh, yeah, it's very, very cool. So there we go. And I'm gonna bring this one around here. I'm just gonna play around with this so we can just Kind of do a little spirally thing and I do like these little beads oops these remind me of Allison because they were her in her stash of beads I think I gave it to her and then I got it back from her so there you go what goes around comes around so now we're going to bring this one and just like I think if we just wind beads around it could be interesting and you can put as many on there as you like and again I'll just do one side and then I can do the other side after. So, so we just like put a bunch of beads in here. Ooh, this is starting to look somewhat feather-like too. You could do, ooh, I like that idea. Like bring them down and do more of a regular feather formation. I think for now I'll just stick with this, but there's a lot you can do with this, like a lot. So let's get some of these guys because these are pretty beads. This also was like an old bracelet or headband headband I think from the dollar store yeah there's always things you can buy and recover uh, from the dollar store or garage sales or what have you so yesterday our neighbor um, yesterday was a junk day they call it in our neighborhood not a junk day but people put out their junk and then the city comes around and picks it up in the um, in the morning so it happens once a month I think so anyways, our neighbor put out a Ikea table, little white coffee table. Then we have an Ikea table we bought 30 years ago, but it's in horrible shape. And their Ikea table was in really good shape. So we switched it. We gave them our crappy Ikea table that was gonna get picked up by the garbage anyways. And we took their beautiful, nice, brand new white Ikea table that they were throwing in the garbage. So. That was a bonus. It's always good to recycle. And so uh, 
we no longer longer have to cover that table with a tablecloth, which is good. So yeah, see what I'm doing? I'm just adding beads and rambling. And we're just gonna go around here and keep adding them until you're happy with it. So this is, I've done a similar type of way of attaching beads on trees, wire trees. We did a wire 10 day wire tree making challenge last year. And I did a tree that was similar to that. So do you see how it's going? You can just fill it in like that. And then you can just, yeah, keep going with it. So if we wanna do another spiral, we can go on, we can go on this side. This side I have to straighten it out or it's not gonna go through the hole of the bead. So we're gonna put this one in. And yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys the final results. I won't have them all done today, but I'll definitely finish enough that I can make a thumbnail that kind of shows what I made. And from there, as for Jackie's creature, the Nerdy Crafters creature, I will do my best to get it done ASAP. So there we go. So we're gonna bring that one in here. And you can see how it's going slowly. I mean, I don't know if I need to do two spirals there, but why not? So we're gonna bring this one up. If you're gonna do two, you may as well do three though, because three is the magic number. So we're gonna bring that one around here. And I will do one more up here with this one. And then I'll let you guys go and finish the rest of these on my own time. I'm working on a fun video for Saturday. I have a lot of videos for uh, letters, wire letters. So I made some wire letters with twisted wire and they look so good. So I uh, have to edit that video. I have about an hour of footage that I have to edit uh, for that. And um, so look out for that tutorial on Saturday. I post tutorials every Saturday, Tuesday, and do live streams every Wednesday. So that's what you're watching right now. We're gonna put one more bead, I think, up here. One, two, three, that's cool, I like it. And we're gonna bring this one up here and do, yeah, do I need another bead? Yeah, no, I don't know. It's kind of cool like that. No, I don't think we need another bead there. So I'm gonna just clip that here. Sorry for the lighting, it's terrible. Oh, my goodness, it's, I should bring up a box light or something, or maybe I should just film in the basement with my lights, it might be easier. I just don't know how great the internet is down there. So we've got those, and then these ones, we can just keep filling those in. Maybe I wanna do another spiral though to keep it a little bit consistent. Um, which wire am I using now? Where's my little, there it is. I'm just gonna get my 24 gauge wire. This one's from Michaels. So I will put another bead down there with a spiral. And let's do the big one again. So there we go. And uh-oh, someone needs to get removed. Thank you so much, Amber. You're quick as a whip. Every now and then we get spam. And uh, Amber, you're very good at quickly spotting it and getting rid of it. So I appreciate that. Oh, this isn't right. I'm using 22 gauge wire, not 24. So where did I put my 22 gauge? Sometimes I get mixed up about what wires I'm using. Hmm, where did I put the 22 gauge? That is the question. 18, 20, oh, wow, that's weird. Okay, did it fall on the ground? No, I'm pretty sure I said I was using 22 gauge, but now I can't find it. So let's remove this and this one. Oh, that's weird. I was using 22 gauge and now I cannot find the roll. Wow. Hmm. Very strange. Was I using 22? Let me know in the comments if I was using 22 gauge because the roll has disappeared. So you know what? I'm going to finish those later because I can't find... Oh, here it is. It's so small. There we go. So... I'm gonna finish it now. So let's go ahead and take this, for some reason this 22 gauge is quite firm, uh, surprising. Usually, is it brass? That's probably why. No, it just says gold. Okay, 
There we go. 22, thanks, Amber. So now let's just do one more little spiral. Cut the wire a little too big. And bring this one around and around. And just a loose, if you want to do a loose spiral, just like bring it very loosely around there. Okay, so there's our little spiral. We can stick it in there. And then it has a little consistency with the ones up there. And I will wind it around here, center it somewhat. Okay, and yeah, this, this gold 22 gauge wire feels like brass. It's so funny, because usually the artistic wire, the copper colored wire is fairly soft, but this one is stiff for some reason. And sometimes wire stiffness can depend on the lot, it depends on, you know, a lot of different things, you know, when it's when it's manufactured. So it's possible that you have discrepancies uh, in your wires. Sometimes you might think it should be a certain way and it's slightly different. That can happen. And I know we buy aluminum wire for our work. And sometimes the wire is so fragile and it snaps. And other times the same, supposedly the same wire from a different lot uh, is fine. So we ended up buying a lifetime supply of wire uh, from a manufacturer and that manufacturer since uh, went out of business. So good thing we have a lifetime supply of wire because we can't buy it anymore. So now we have this. I'm going to do one more little thing like that. And there we go. Cut off another little wire, uh, bead. And then we're going to be done for now. And then I'm going to have a whole bunch of wings with one side completed. But that gives me some homework. I always like a bit of homework when I'm up at 2 a.m. not wanting to sleep. And I just make stuff. So now let's take this, wind it around, and that'll be it for today. It's quite pretty. I just went like super abstract with this. But I do like the way it looks. So now... Yeah, I really like the way it looks, actually. And we're just going to take that and uh, clip that. And then I'm going to go get a coffee at Tim Hortons. So that'll be fun. I like Tim Hortons coffee. Let me know if you guys have a Tim Hortons near you. Uh, there's not a lot of them in the States. There's tons of them in Canada. And I don't know if they have them in other places in the world. I know at some military bases they have them. But I don't know if they have them, you know, in other cities in the world. So, guys, here's our really super cute wing. I don't know if that one would work on our creature. We can see. So, here's the creature from the Nerdy Crafter kit. Yeah, you could totally do a wing like that on the, on the creature. And then you'd have to, like, bend it a bit to make it sit properly. So, yeah. I'm not going to clip the end because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. But you can you could definitely put that on your creature and uh, stick it in there and um, so we have those ones for the creature okay and I'll link up below where you can buy the nerdy crafter kit uh, these are the instructions to show you you know the kit so I will link up below where you can purchase that if there's any available it was a limited edition thing uh, these are these wings. Those would work too. I'm going to actually flatten these and put resin on them. So those could definitely work as well. Super cute. And then this one, the wings, the, the butterfly wings, which are super cute. So, so many possibilities. Uh, Jackie, if you're watching this, I will, I'm going to just DM you some pictures so you can see it once they're done. And um, I might have to buy more plaster to make some more of these little creatures. So guys... I'm going to flip the screen and say goodbye now that it's dark outside, so I shouldn't have too much backlight. So we're going to bring this one around. So, oh, look at those pretty trees at our neighbor's house and the sunset. That's cool. Woo! Hi, guys. So, yeah, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Here's the kit. Then this is the Nerdy Crafters Super Not Another Crap Kit. Well, it's not crap. It's a good kit. It's awesome. And thank you to Amber and Clarice for always moderating the chat. I like this backlit. Don't I look like sort of angelic? Yeah, let's close this so I look even 
more angelic. There we go. Woo, cool. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you everybody for hopping on. Next video, uh, Saturday, I'm gonna be doing those twisted letters, which are super awesome. And um, we'll see you guys the next time. Have a great rest of your day, a great night, a great sleep, a great breakfast if you're just waking up, a cup of coffee. And I will talk to you guys the next time. And thank you, Jackie, so much for creating this kit. It's super fun. I'm really excited about it. I just have to do all the rest of it. And I'll send, I'll post pictures in the community section. So bye, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye.